together today for more than 10 hours and had a frank and comprehensive discussion. Based on the independent investigation, I want to state clearly that we believe Urban Meyer did not and does not condone domestic abuse. However, he did fail to take sufficient management action regarding Zach Smith, and he was not as complete and accurate in media day, and uh, didn't uphold the high standard, uh, standards and values of the university on that day. I know that the impact that the events the last three weeks have had on this institution, an institution that I love, and how challenging this has been for our community, our president, a man who I have great respect for, and for that I am deeply sorry. I'm sorry that we're in this situation. And um, I'm just sorry we're in this situation. Uh, therefore, Urban Meyer is suspended through September 2nd, 2018, and for the games on September 1st, 8th, and 15th. All right, let's get in the mix on an unbelievably gorgeous Thursday afternoon, the 23rd of August. Let's rock and roll. Um, I'll throw the number out because I'm sure some of you have opinions on Urban Meyer. Some of you may want to wait until you hear what I have to say. That's your choice. We're all adults. Do what you want. 248-539-9797. Now, I'm going to spend the least amount of time rehashing what you've already probably heard, seen, read, reacted to, which is the findings from the independent review. I want to spend the most time discussing the press conference, discussing my reaction to it, and certainly my overall reaction to, well, you. So here's the findings, and I'll go quickly. Urban Meyer has a sincere commitment and a respect for women. He wouldn't hesitate to terminate any coach if spousal abuse was established. The investigation also found that although Meyer and Gene Smith failed to adhere to the precise requirements of their contract, they did so based upon a good faith belief that they did not have sufficient information to initiate disciplinary action in absence of law enforcement. Mm, we'll revisit that wording momentarily. Other than the misunderstanding of requirements about reporting, neither Meyer nor A.D. Smith violated policy or contractual obligation regarding alleged domestic abuse claims against Zach Smith. University will undertake steps to make its requirements clearer and implement training to reinforce. Although Coach Meyer made significant misstatements about his knowledge of the 2015 events, he lied, just say it, Relating to Zach Smith and his former wife at Big Ten Media Day, they were not part of a deliberate cover-up effort. Hmm. The investigation identified multiple other examples of inappropriate conduct by Zach Smith, some known, some not, by Urban and Gene Smith. Meyer talked with Staffer about deleting texts the day before OSU obtained his phone. Investigators couldn't <laughs> conclude that Meyer's phone wasn't already set to that setting. I mean, that is, that might be my second favorite part of the investigation. Dude just happened to go to the Apple store and ask for the delete evidence function. That is so good, man. But the best part, I mean, the absolute best part is when they go grandpa's medicine cabinet. Urban Meyer uh, went so far as to say, Meyer sometimes takes medication that can impact his ability to remember things. <laughs> Perfect. All right, so here's the deal. Let me just take the press conference top to bottom. It was an absolute disaster for OSU. We all know what 2018 is, and, and I know we're all in this race to be outraged. Okay, I'll get to you later, outrage guy. The point is... Ohio State met all day. They go out, and if you're going to get on stage, you got to put a show on. Urban Meyer's got to get up there, and he's got to somehow, some way, do his best Daniel Day Lewis and get the tears flowing. At least act like you care. Urban got on stage like a kid who didn't get what he wanted for Christmas, and he pouted. I thought he was going to knock out the president, Michael V. Drake. He didn't pick his head up once reading that statement. There was no pause. There was no emotion. It was terse. It was nasty. Urban then asked multiple questions, including the highlight of what would you say to Courtney Smith? And it was, er, ah, uh, sorry, we're in this spot. Brutal. Look, man, you're not going to get me running around yelling and screaming, acting all outraged. I'm not. College football is a toxic waste dump of scumbags. 
I'm just an adult and I realize it. But Urban, d- dude, he's only lost eight times at OSU. Make it 73-9. and nine. Lost the presser 42 nothing. That press conference was the equivalent of the Iowa game last year. That was a debacle. That's a that's the worst a coach has looked since Izzo after Maryland. Er, ah, e, don't remember why he left program. That was brutal. Now, the rest of that deal, I mean, first of all, Gene Smith has got a set of balls on him to even show up at this thing. Gene Smith holds no power. Gene Smith should not have a job. I don't know how he wasn't the sacrificial lamb here, but there's good old Gino. Dude's got nine lives, man. And look, ultimately, here's what it comes down to. Either bring the guy back or fire the guy. But don't give me this half measure. Now, look, I'll be honest. I'm surprised he got anything. I told you from the start. He's 73-8, and eight, won a natty, played for another, favored to probably make another one this year. They were never firing this guy. Urban Meyer earlier in the day flat out pouted. How do you think that leaked out? Urban got on stage angry that he was suspended because he didn't think he did anything wrong. Now, is Urban Meyer a complete psychopath? Sure. And your favorite college coach probably is too. It takes that kind of guy to be a big-time coach. You have to be a nutcase. I'll tell you a story that will reinforce it later. And it's it's an unbelievable story. You'll love it. Here's my point. What OSU did here was try to placate to you. What I'd prefer, I mean, at this point, just be defiant. I know college football is dirty. I know college football is gross. College football is no different than Wall Street. It's no different than major corporate America. It's no different than politics. I mean, come on, man. It's area code scumbag. I know this. No, I'm not outraged that Urban kept a bad guy on his staff. You're kidding me. He protected his mentor's grandson. Wait a minute. Let me produce fake outrage for you. I won't do it. I'm not outraged by it. Is Urban a bad guy? Not surprised by it. He's been a bad guy for a long time. I mean, Aaron Hernandez almost killed two people at Florida. It's Urban Meyer's guy. Urban Meyer had 36 players arrested at Florida. I mean... He damn near ran his wife over with a bus last night. I wasn't aware of Shelly's texts. Aren't you the same dude who says your wife's your best friend, your confidant, and the person you talk about the most important things, but she didn't share text messages with you from Courtney Smith? Okay. I also would like to sell you the Brooklyn Bridge for a puka shell necklace. Here's the bottom line in all of it. OSU, if you're going to bring him back, I wouldn't have suspended him. They're going to get raked over to Coles regardless. You think people are satisfied with three? No way. No one is satisfied in 2018 until you burn it all down, until the fake outrage can move on to its next target. Any, This is my point to all of you. No one is saying Zach Smith's a good guy. In fact, terrible guy. No one's saying Urban's a good guy. In fact, terrible guy. Here's what I'm saying to you. It's never been about being a good guy. It's never been about morality. It's never been about developing young men. Not since the 80s. It's about money. It's about winning. I'm watching national columnists make damn fools of themselves with the outrage, oh my God, OSU took winning over morality. Where the F have you been? Honestly, what planet have you been writing on? OSU's football team runs that university. Now, five years ago, he doesn't get a suspension. Today, he gets a suspension because OSU isn't sorry. Urban's not sorry. The Board of Trustees isn't sorry. They just want to placate to you. And for that, well, I have less respect than bringing the guy back. I know why they brought him back. He's worth so much money. And the big donors... Do not care about this. The boosters do not care about this. The local politicians do not care about this. The student body does not care about this. And my God, if I've got to hear another reporter ask, what effect has this had on the team? They don't care. Joey Galloway said it best in an interview he did this morning. They're not thinking about this. They're thinking about Oregon State. 
It's a group of 19-year-old kids trying to get to the league and not fail math class. They don't care about this. So here's my point to you, and I'll throw the number out, 248-539-9797. If you're outraged, that's on you because you've been living in a fantasy land. Your school is slime. My school is slime. We're all in the same infected body of water. So if you want to get up here and and show your bleeding heart, and you want, oh, my God, they have to fire him. This is unbelievable. Really? Then you don't live in the real world. They were never firing him. Urban Meyer got on stage last night angry. He was even suspended. He was never getting fired. And if you're outraged, then you don't know the sport you watch. But that's 2018. I mean, honestly, like, it's never been a more embarrassing time for media. All these media who cover Urban Meyer and know what a vile character he is acting with their surprise faces. What a gross display of faux outrage, honestly. Oh, my God, I I can't believe that. Bro, you cover college football. You know exactly what this is. And if you don't, you're a damn fool, and, you all, and you've just outed yourself for needing a new line of work. No, I'm telling you now as a 37-year-old, I don't like what Urban did. I don't like anything these coaches do. But it's, this is the business. This is what it is. It is gross. And if it grosses you out to where you want to yell and scream about Urban Meyer and demand firings and all this stuff, A, be careful with those stones you're throwing because you're living in a a glass condominium too. And B, ask yourself whether you can still watch this sport. If it bothers you that much, then you better really look inside and figure out whether you're right for this game. Period. No. By the letter of the law, I didn't want Urban fired because I don't care. He's a dirtbag. I know it. You know it. My mother knows it. Is Zach Smith a terrible human being? Yep. Are they hiding behind the police, not arresting him, not charging him? Yep. Did Urban only know what he wanted to know? Yep. Did he probably misremember some things? Sure. Guys, this is standard protocol for powerhouse college football programs. It's never been any different. The only thing that's different now is local police don't play ball like they used to. 60s, 70s, 80s, local police forces were in on this stuff. Go read a book. Open your eyes. No one's clean. Maybe the service academies and possibly Stanford. Other than that, the iodines infected the entire pool, and we're all swimming in it. So if if you can't handle it, don't watch. Hell, I turned on ESPN this morning, and Michelle Beadle basically asked to be fired. Quote, I don't watch the NFL, and I'm done watching college football. My Saturdays are open. Hey, Michelle, you're that affected. Tell you what, your $5 million paycheck, bye bye Get out. Unbelievable statement by Michelle Beadle. And you know what? She has every right to be upset. I can't tell her how to feel. I don't know the emotion she feels as a woman, but I will tell you this. You cannot go on television making $5 million a year and tell your audience you will not watch football on Saturdays or Sundays. Sorry. Figure it out. If your feelings are that deep and that affected, here's the deal. Then don't work in sports. Otherwise, fall in line, watch the games, and stop telling people that are getting up to do real jobs that you're too good to watch. That was unbelievable this morning on Get Up. Unbelievable. Straight up telling America not watching any football. Then they have LaDainian Tomlinson in studio next segment, and she has the gall to ask the first question about Saquon Barkley. You just told me you're not watching, so nobody really wants to hear from you anymore. See, this is the hypocrisy we exist in. The media that's screaming and yelling about all this, they cover this sport. They know these things. You don't have a right to be outraged. And if you are outraged at what Urban did or somehow you're shocked that OSU did this, you probably can't watch college football anymore. That's my point to you. And I just think the response by a lot of people is the height of hypocrisy. I think it's the height of being disingenuous. And I just am not going to put up with that.
I'm coming to you and telling you. It's not absolutes where both things can't be true. Urban can be a scumbag, OSU can be filth, and I can still watch college football. Because I'm not going to come out here and scream and cry and say that I can't do this anymore. This is too much for me to bear. I'm stunned. I'm not. They chose one of the best coaches in the country. They chose one of the best coaches in the history of their school. And they chose to make money. They had a report where they had the coach dead to right on four or five accounts. He's too good of a coach. He's worth too much money. End. If the guy was a 500 coach, fired. If the guy didn't have rings, plural, fired. If the guy didn't have a team ranked in the top five, fired. If, you know, look, if candy and nuts were ifs and buts and, you know, the old phrase about Christmas, it's not. If David were white, he wouldn't be black. Well, David's black. Like, that's the deal. If I didn't have chia pet eyebrows, I wouldn't have chia. Like, you can't do that. This is who Urban is. It's who he's always been. And if Ohio State fired him tomorrow, may I remind you, the same media would come out and champion him being hired at LSU. What a great hire. What a great move. Oh, my God. See, that's where I laugh at people being outraged. If Urban gets fired tomorrow, there will be a line of schools ready to hire him. So how outraged were you again? Come on, man. Let's not be fake. You're a Michigan fan who's butthurt that he didn't get fired. Admit it. Just say that's why you want him fired. You're a Spartan who wanted him gone? Hey, then just say it. But he wasn't getting fired. That's the point. And college football's a business. And I'm not going to live in this world where it's not, like, I'm not going to delude myself. I'm not going to sit here and take my radio show and lie to my listeners and say I'm outraged by this. I'm not. Like, Ohio State's dirty. We know it. It's kind of how it works. What am I supposed to say? Yeah, he had a scumbag on the staff. Yep. You know what happened? Zach Smith was his guy. Zach Smith was a legacy. It was Earl Bruce's grandson, and he was willing to, to basically railroad himself to protect the guy. Guess what? That's happening in big business. It's happening in government. It's happening everywhere. Because powerful people, they always got a guy or they got a girl, and they're going to protect him. Like, why would I think college football's any different? It's not. Never been about developing young people. Never been about academics. It's always been about money. Period. You want to be fake outraged? You want to scream and yell? Cool. You're not going to get it from me. Come and join me in the real world. In fact, to me... OSU, it would have been a better look to be straight up defiant at this point because the three-game suspension isn't curing anything. That's not getting anyone off your back. All that does is say, well, we know he's dirty. We know he's slime, but we got to placate to you. What the hell's that fixing? Either bring the guy back or fire him. Period. Done. That's it. That's all. Press conference was a debacle. Suspension's a debacle. I mean, I, I don't know. Did anyone really think much of Ohio State? No. <laughs> so that, 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 that doesn't matter. But if they think they did themselves any favors, they did not. Two four eight five three nine ninety seven ninety seven. I took all the air in the room there. Apologies. Sully, Hatchet, I want your opinions. Next, we'll see if people are awake after the Tigers put us all to sleep. 97-1.